welcome to another Affinity Lecture Series. My name is Barry Unsworth and I'm a member of the Advisory Board. Let us acknowledge the traditional owners of the land upon which we meet, the Gadigal people of the Aora Nation. We pay our respect to their elders, past, present and emerging. For those who have never attended an Affinity event before, let me briefly introduce the organisation. Affinity was formed by a group of young Muslim Australians in 2000. Their aim is to promote multiculturalism and foster intercultural, interfaith dialogue by building bridges between different groups in society. To see some of their wonderful work, in 2019, let us watch a short video. And I pay my respects to their elders past, present, and emerging. To ensure young people are given tangible opportunities to contribute to important conversations happening in society. Over our history we've had many, many Aboriginal graduates this year. We're just about to celebrate our 100th. Since getting to this role in the Human Rights Commission is to look at human rights as an important group blue that brings communities together. Our lives begin to end the day we become silent about things that matter. And in that multi-power system, big powers are vying for more power. As a result, I'm keenly interested in religious liberty, interfaith and intercultural dialogue and law and religion. So I feel a great sense of affinity with affinity. Flying with two wings is the core of the spirituality that Fatou de Guilin brought uh, as he continued to mature uh, and develop as well. And record numbers of journalists throughout the world being imprisoned, killed, and taken hostage. But we've never really defined at a union level what, what a journalist is. But where journalism differs from most other professions is, uh, not all, but most, is this other notion of serving the public. I owe it to coming generations and those in vulnerable parts of the world who have no voice to do all we can to stop the climate juggernaut from doing its worst. And so you can't understand equality unless you know what it looks like. And you can't know what it looks like if you're not in dialogue, if you're not talking about it. That inclusivity means a thriving and prosperous society. Morrison, our Prime Minister, is meeting with Trump in the margins of the G20 in Osaka next Saturday. For Australian to respect each other's faith requires knowledge, education, dialogue, and a real commitment to real religious freedom. This is the sort of work that Affinity is committed to. And I'm speaking here not in terms of religion. I'm talking of those things that deeply motivate individuals and cause them to want to emulate the person that they have been listening to. Deep peace being trust at its most basic. People learn to trust aunts, uncles, nieces, nephews, Right, and to recognize the commonalities in the human community. The harm on the environment is, is a, at an alarming rate. And we've just seen the bushfires and a lot of people have been talking, linking that to climate change. People working together has people feeling, you know, it, you just draw hope from it. You can reach a bigger audience through a metaphor, which is this tiny little poem of documentary, than I did with the feature film. An area always was, always will be Indigenous land, but it's an area that always has been an area of great learning and education. I truly believe that both seek a strong bottom line and hope to contribute to the well-being of society by aiming to solve three major social problems, disunity, poverty and ignorance. I'd now like to introduce today's facilitator, Richard Bronofsky AO. Richard Bronofsky was an Australian diplomat in his early career. He served in Austra Australia and Japan, Burma, Iran, 
and the Philippines. In 1983, he became Australia's ambassador to Vietnam, then to the Republic of South Korea, and later to Mexico, the Central American Republics, and Cuba. He took time out from diplomacy to run Radio Australia in the early 1990s. On retirement from the public service, Richard became an adjunct professor in media studies at the University of Canberra, then at Sydney University, where he initiated a scheme to send Australian media students to work as journalists in English language newspapers in the Asia Pacific region. He's written five books on history and politics and is in the middle of the sixth. At the Queen's birthday honours in June 2019, Richard became an officer in the Order of Australia for his services to Australian trade, culture and diplomacy. Please join me in welcoming Richard to the lectern. <laughs> 